From time to time, Hollywood releases films that earn hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office. Some movies literally changed the history of world cinema. But some movies are memorable not because they're great, and you want to watch them repeatedly but because they're terribly horrible, and you want to forget about them right after you watch them. Battlefield Earth is one of the brightest representatives of this category of films. It's probably one of the most problematic films in Hollywood history. The chaos and mess made at every stage of its production can only be compared with a few films, The Island of Dr. Moreau and The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Often, problems with films occur at a single stage of production. But Battlefield Earth set the record straight, and the film was clearly lucky. Many films look problematic even before the start of the filmmaking process. The movie, based on a novel by the writer Ronald Hubbard, would cause many problems everyone in Hollywood understood. Everyone but John Travolta. First, the book was written by the founder of the religious movement Church of Scientology. And secondly, the book was always considered unsuitable for film adaptation, but John Travolta was unstoppable. Travolta had tried to start a movie adaptation of the novel back in the 80s. But in those years, John's career was not going through its best days. His films were failing and Hollywood producers didn't want to work with him, because they thought that the presence of Travolta in the cast guaranteed box office failure. However, in the mid-90s, Pulp Fiction appeared on the screens, after which Travolta's life changed dramatically. And for his participation in their films, studios were ready for anything. After several successful films in a row, royalties for the actor reached the mark of 15 to 20 million dollars per role. At his call, he responded to the newly formed studio franchise Pictures. According to rumors, the studio Warner, engaged in rental films franchise Pictures, was persuaded to abandon the movie Tom Cruise. It should be specified that the most famous actors representatives of Scientology are just Tom Cruise and John Travolta. But no matter how it was without listening to anyone Warner Studios and franchise, Pictures launched a production project in the late 90s. The movie script by this time had been rewritten more than 10 times when the picture finally got the green light. Travolta invited scriptwriter Corey Mandel to the project, who wrote the latest version of the script. Travolta himself wanted to play the role of Johnny Goodboy, but decided it would be better for him to play the main antagonist Turl. For the part of Goodboy was signed by Barry Pepper, who made a strong impression on him at the casting. The film had a big problem in pre-production. The producers could not find a director for the film. All the directors the studio contacted immediately stopped returning phone calls. John Travolta even invited Quentin Tarantino into the director's chair, but he refused the offer at once saying that the material was not in his style. Having received a lot of rejections, the newcomer Roger Christian was appointed as a director. George Lucas recommended Roger Christian as director. He was the second unit director on Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, the art director on Star Wars and directed Black Angel. The studio committed $75 million to the film, and the crew went off to shoot the picture in the backwoods, which ended up causing additional problems. According to actor Barry Pepper, so little money was allocated so little that the crew was forced to starve during work. So on the set in the woods, he could not eat anything, and finding a restaurant nearby was not possible. At one point, the whole crew was ready to revolt, but John Travolta was able to stop the mutiny, who ate separately from everyone else. After learning of the terrible working conditions, the actor began to buy the necessary products for their own money and put his cook in the kitchen. After that, the atmosphere on the set has improved. According to statements by John Travolta and the producers, the choice of Canadian forests for filming allowed the studio to save money. The same movie filmed in the United States would have been more expensive by 70 million. While Travolta was feeding the film crew, American journalists began to destroy the film beforehand. This is the factor that Travolta would call the main reason for the failure. One of the American newspapers, when they got their hands on the film's script sent the script to famous journalists in the country, and many Hollywood producers, asking them to tell what they thought about it. After that, the publication showed the comments on the script on its pages. They were hostile and generally characterized the script as silly, banal, and ridiculous. The absolute disaster happened at the first test screenings. Viewers berated the plot, the costumes and absolutely all the actors. Usually, in such cases studios are trying to save the situation by reducing the duration of the picture, but in this case it would not help. So Warner simply reduced the advertising budget to a minimum. Art director Roger Christian, 
who once won an Oscar for the set of Star Wars said it was all the fault of the film's tiny budget. Only John Travolta did not give up. In all the interviews before the movie's release, he compared his creation with Schindler's List, and added that the picture is much better than Star Wars. And in many interviews, he promised to release at least two more sequels. Work was scheduled to begin as soon as Battlefield Earth hit theaters, but all this did not help much as rumors about the quality of the project quickly spread throughout Hollywood. At the box office, the film failed miserably, grossing $29 million on a budget of $75 million. The trouble for the film did not end. One of the investors sued the studio franchise Pictures, accusing it of fraud. The official budget of the movie was $75 million, but after the courts over the studio in the early 90s, it turned out that about $40 million was spent on the shooting. Where did the rest of the money go is anyone's guess. By the way, Franchise Pictures has been accused many times of this kind of fraud. Courts have ordered the studio to pay more than $40 million. The studio has been ordered to pay over $100 million to investors. Such lawsuits eventually bankrupted Franchise Pictures. After the failure of the picture at the box office, almost all of the people involved in the production began. Interviews in which they spoke negatively about the film. Barry Pepper states that the picture's failure is to blame only John Travolta. Since it was he who came up with the idea to make this film, and it was he who received most of the budget picture as a fee, Travolta calls such a statement a lie. According to him, he only got $10 million for the film. Battlefield Earth picked up seven statuettes of the anti-prize Golden Raspberry. Only actor Forrest Whitaker was lucky, he was not awarded anything. Whitaker, in all interviews, apologizes to his fans for in a few years. The picture will get a few more awards first as the worst movie of the decade, and then as the worst movie in the 25-year history of the Golden Raspberry. The picture is in all the rankings of the worst films in Hollywood history. The film is included on film critic Roger Ebert's most hated list. He called it not merely bad, it's unpleasant in a hostile way, and a film that for decades to come will be the punch line of jokes about bad movies. He dismissed claims that it was full of religious ideology, though stating that the film contains no evidence of Scientology or any other system of thought. Eli Samaha, the film's producer agreed with the critics, but believed that so much of the negativity was due to the hatred of Scientology. Barry Pepper, who won an anti-award for his supporting role in the film, says he entirely agrees with the assessment of his position. Screenwriter Shapiro has constantly apologized for this film. He believes that Hollywood has made hundreds and thousands of terrible movies in history, but Battlefield Earth is the worst of them all. The careers of both screenwriters were finished after the movie came out, and they didn't work on anything else. The only one who never said anything wrong about the movie is John Travolta. He still speaks in interviews that the picture was excellent, and he would have loved to have done a sequel.